Jones, so your testimony to us is that you are unable in 18 months to do this. Senator Haynes, there's nobody even applying to Haynes, me. That's, that's I mean, Haynes, I'm sorry, right. Senator okay. Heron, I, and I know you very much. Just call I'm, me Roy, it'll be fine. I'll but, call you Mark. But the thing is this, nobody has even applied to meet these standards. And, and it, you know, an easy fix that you might think, well, we won't use these standards. We'll use the current standards that we're using right now. Well, what are those standards? Well, that's the 2002 NASED standards. They don't certify anymore. So if we were to find a glitch. Mr. Goins, are there no standards in this country that you think are suitable? Is there no state in the 50 that you think is a model for us that we could use? Are there no I, standards I that exist in the country? I think the EAC is a, is a prime example because certainly if the federal government, and, and, and they agree, by the way, this is something where we, well, certainly Dick and I agree on. Um, uh, the situation that you have out there is that if the federal government, certainly if they were to mandate that we have optical scan machines, you would think that they would use the EAC standards because that was set up under the HAVA that they passed. And if, that, if we were to use other standards out there, then literally what you're talking about, in 2006 we purchased machines and spent millions of dollars. We're going to turn around and spend millions of dollars in 2010 and literally the federal government may come in here and say you're going to spend millions of dollars again. But even worse at risk is this. Say that we were to go back to the 2002 standard, NASED standards, which is currently what we've got machines now, or even if the EAC were to certify optical scan machinery to the 2002, uh, 2002 standards, literally in 2010 you would be buying obsolete equipment. So either way you go, if you, if you are wanting to save money, it's clear that... Mr. Goins, what I'm wanting to do is to have elections that we can be as certain as human beings can be are legitimate, honest, and fair. That, now, that's my number one goal. And if it costs a little bit, uh, I understand that. It, I'd rather pay less than more. But my real goal, my number one goal, is that when you're talking about elections and the very basis for this uh, republic to operate in this state to uh, select its elected officials, uh, that, that that's worthy of some investment. Now, whatever mistakes have been made in the past, uh, I can't do anything about. Whatever the federal government may do in the future, I can't do anything about. What I can do is, I think, ask people I trust and respect like you and the Secretary of State is to give us a recommendation on something that can give us a fair degree of certitude that the elections will be fair, honest, and right, and that we'll know that the, the act, when people cast a ballot, they can know that it'll be recorded accurately. That's that's what I'm asking for. And what I'm hearing from you, just to be clear, is that you can't get it done in 18 months, and you don't know that there's any standards that would work, and you're not sure there's any state that sets a good model. And if that's not what you're saying, you need to tell me the opposite of those three things now or later, because that's what I'm taking from you. You know, this is why folks get frustrated with the government. I understand that frustration, but, but for you to tell me in 18 months we can't get it done, it's woe is me, there's no standard, there's no state, There's I'm not man enough to get this job done. Now, surely that's not what you're telling me. You've got too much ability. I know the Secretary of State has too much ability. I've worked with him too much to think otherwise, to think that in 18 months we can't figure out a way to get it done. Now, whether we should have stimulus money or shouldn't, there is some one-time money around, and there ought to be some funds that we could put in this. And I don't know of anything more important to invest in than this democracy.